our trek to Machu Picchu. Nice, easy trail to ease us in. Hey, spent a lot. So <laughs> it's been a fun uh, few days in some town that has too many syllables. Alente Tambo. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and in Cusco, getting acclimated. We got some wonderful views here. Wait till we go uh, I can't. Corner. You know, this camera's annoying. You can't flip it around while you're recording. That's okay. That's dumb. We'll flip. But beautiful. That. <laughs> so you can say it's a dream come true. Point it. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> A little update, we're still here on day one. We had a uh, awesome lunch just now at base camp. And uh, Sarah's doing all right. Still acclimating a bit. Yeah, it's quite a bit. I'm not sure what altitude we're at right now. We were at 3,600 meters when we, started. when we started. Making our way up. And we're currently making our way Good towards... <laughs> Laguna, but first we gotta make our way up there whoop, towards the mountain. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. We live for this, despite how miserable it may feel at times. activities of day one. I'm here with Sarah. She powered through. <laughs> she kind of hit a wall a little earlier before that trek, but she did good. She's a beast. It was very um, hard. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. But uh, now we're back in our sky camp in our igloo. If you notice around me, there's a lot of windows around me because we're in this full window enclosure with an amazing view. So this will be our view tonight as we go to bed. Many pictures to come. It's beautiful, it's awesome, it's unexpected. Um, everything is uh, really oh, falling into place. We got a tough day ahead of us tomorrow, but we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, we have, uh, what do we got? Look how far is my boots up. Do I got a tan mark on my nose? Anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh, you want me to boots? I don't know, they're so bad. But uh, yeah, so now we got tea time with our uh, with our group. Not both. And then, uh, yeah, so okay. actual like tea. Okay, tea. And then um, some relaxing dinner and then get our gear together for, uh, for our journeys tomorrow. Yeah? You have anything to add, Sarah? It was very hard. Oh, I'm not in frame. Hi. Oh, God, I look exhausted. Avoid reflective surfaces. It was good, though. I'm happy I did it. That's it. Camera. Hello, guys. Hello, we're back with day two of our trek to Machu Picchu. We're currently in maybe an hour in to our morning travel. We started around 6.30 this morning. Waking up around five. Of course I say wake up, but unfortunately some of us did not sleep. Where she, poor lady hasn't <laughs> slept in two days. She was up sick, nauseous last night. But like I said, she's a fucking champion and she's pushing through. <laughs> she says barely, but you know, Look at her, she's a goddamn beast. Where'd she go? I'm here. Hi. Yeah. Let's look at what we have to Yeah, up. so we're making our way over here. It's a little blown out right now, can't really see. But uh, yeah, fun. What's going on? 
on. Day two continues. About three hours and 45 minutes of trek. And Sarah and I made it 4,600 meters to Sacante. Um, it was awesome. It was a struggle bus. It was a challenge for the young lady here. But she is a monster. She's a beast and she pushed through all the way, um, all the way to the end. So uh, look to her for inspiration. Uh, Goonies never say die. She, but I, I'm running out of words. It's, 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 uh, I'm proud of her. And uh, this has been amazing. Now downhill. Yeah, now we go downhill. <laughs> the hardest part is, is behind us. Gang, we are back. Gang, I don't I've even know who I'm, who's watching better this. Better than ever. I don't know who, who's watching this, why, why I made it. But anyway, I guess I guess Sarah and I are the gang. But anyway, so uh, we just finished lunch. Uh, we spent, uh, what was it? Two and about a two and a half hours or so making our way from that, uh, from that peak. Um, we were at 4,600, though I think somebody said it was actually 4,650. Either way, back in high up, um, 4,600 meters. And we were down to just under 4,000 meters just a couple hours later. Finished up lunch, now we're just kind of cruising along. Totally different climate here. Um, went from wearing legit winter gear to now wearing t-shirts and kind of just stripping gear down, about to roll up my pants. Um, but it's, uh, it's beautiful it is. and, uh, it's great seeing Sarah in better spirits, Yay, <laughs> but, uh, like I said, this girl accomplished quite a feat today over the last couple days. She had a lot going against her, but she wouldn't quit. Um, so I know I said that in my previous videos, but it's, uh, still astonished and proud of the young lady, but now here we are. Here's a little quick glimpse of what we got going on. So quite a different climate as you can see. Day two continues. Okay, how you guys doing? This is day three of our trek. Uh, we started a little while ago, getting some nice little bits of information along the way. Um, we've got about five hours of trekking time, six hours. Um, like I said, springs. with little stops along the way. And then after lunch, we'll be going to the hot springs. So I think I need, I think everybody needs. Definitely feeling a little off this morning. But uh, hopefully that clears me. up. Uh, yeah, she's feeling much better. I'm alive. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so hopefully all that clears up, especially as we get to the hot springs. Till then. hours have passed since we set off this morning. Yeah, it was pretty exhausting. The terrain wasn't too difficult, but we're carrying a little bit of fatigue from the last couple days. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, so we got about five or ten minutes to relax, and then we're off to coffee. harvest some coffee, and I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> and lunch. Yeah, and Once you lunch. get some food in you, I feel yeah, like that's bring back up. But uh, yeah. So. More later. Oh yeah, then the hot springs are after that. <laughs> All right, day four has begun. Ah. There were no updates after uh, our 
around lunchtime yesterday for day three. So we a uh, little update there. We did a little that coffee thing, picked oh, yeah. some coffee beans, uh, de-shelled them and whatnot, and roasted, uh, them. roasted them, drank them, ground them, <laughs> drank them. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And then after that, we continued on our hike very shortly, maybe like 15 or 20 minutes, to our campsite. Which was awesome. Which was awesome. Had lunch there, and then we made our way to the hot springs, which was much needed. Um, nice little break from all the hiking, especially after yesterday. I mean, yeah, there wasn't a lot of uh, climbing yesterday, but it was a grueling six-hour push. So now um, we were supposed to wake up pretty early and continue our hiking this morning, but there are some wildfires all throughout the area. Well, maybe wildfires. Well, all right, so yes, uh, wildfires are potential political statements um, throughout the area. So we are in our little shuttle. We've been on it for about an hour and a half or about so, an hour. maybe. About an hour to go. Yeah, um, and then from there we got about a three hour trek. Um, and then we'll be at a hotel. We get to relax. Nice. And then tomorrow is Machu Picchu. And then tomorrow is Machu Picchu. So. That's where we're at. That's the update. So hello, here we are, day four. Hi. Hair's all clean. Yeah, shampoo. We're at a hotel <laughs> at the base of Machu Picchu. Tomorrow we actually make our ascent. But for now, we are done with our trek for the day. For the day. For the day. And uh, as far as tomorrow goes, well, I'll tell you tomorrow. Fucking <laughs> deal. Um, but yeah, it wasn't a big deal today. Yeah, it was an easy day compared to the past other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah's just busy bandaging up her feet because... I can't catch a break. Because <laughs> she's a freaking mess. Um, but yeah, um, relatively uneventful except for her feet falling apart. It's just a blister. It's um, and my thousand bug bites through my pants. Yeah. But um, yeah, as bummed as we were about the hike today getting cut short because of last night's uh, or the continued fires that are happening uh it seemed to be somewhat of a blessing in disguise because it gave our feet a little bit of a break because even with the three hour hike that we did today by the end of it my my dogs were barking um <laughs> oh and we met a dog oh yeah we met a nice dog today he followed us for like what do you think like two miles a fair amount fair yeah. distance we, we called named him nico. nico yeah nico he was cute and, uh, and he was our us. buddy. And the second our group uh, rejoined us, he peaced out. So he's like, I don't know them. Uh, I don't trust them. I'm out. He's super cute. But, uh, but that's a reflection on him and who Nico is, <laughs> not a reflection on our group. Let's be clear. Um, okay, <clears throat> that's it. Out to explore the town before dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Catch you later. Day five, we are <laughs> making our way towards the bus station. It is fucking early. Right, to uh, meet with Rami. And uh, we'll be, yeah, riding the bus up. We're the only ones riding the bus, though. Everybody else, Everybody is, else is walking. Up, but they also had to wake up much earlier. Uh, but we also have a bit more trekking to do once we get to the top. So we played it smart. Um, so we're just creating a bit of a balance there. Save some time. But uh, it is going to be a tight, tight, tight day, uh, schedule-wise, because we have a train to pick up at a very specific time, and the trek to the very top is hour and a half up, hour and a half down. Feeling pretty so good, though. I think adding we can do a three-hour ch uh, three-hour chunk of trekking. Once we're already uh, at the top. Once we're up there, right? A lot of time to explore it too. Yeah. So feet are have definitely felt better. <laughs> So, but they're pretty good. Um, Duct tape is magical. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
as Sarah said, mind over matter. Yes. And uh, this is this is the end game. Oh, end game. Aww. All right. More later. This is the culmination of day five. We are at the top of Machu Picchu Mountain. It's been a it's long, challenging journey to get here, but we are here. Um, Sarah, do you have anything to say? Or are you just hiding? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, where we're at, so we're pretty high up. We're surrounded by the mountains. Machu Picchu is all the way down there. <laughs> There's Salcante Mountain. It was two days ago. Which is where we were two days ago. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the make or break point of our journey. And then of course, I'll take you down over here. And if you look down there, Pretty awesome. Hopefully all that came out because I can't see the screen while I'm turning the camera around, but. It's amazing. It's been awesome. It's yeah. a fun journey. Hard. And uh, yeah, that last little trek up really was the, uh, the last little test to get us here. So now back and, down? Uh, and back down. And we get to explore that. And we'll go explore. <laughs> but uh, a journey well worth taking. See. Cool. Anyway, so. You have glasses on too, though. Yeah, but I mean, they already know I'm cool. Mm, I suppose. So, yeah, so that's a wrap. We're on our train about to head back to Cusco. It has been a fun and memorable adventure. Yeah. Um, our guide, Rami, was awesome and he was extremely helpful and uh, insightful. Wealth of knowledge. He was great. Uh, yeah, he was great. He really was. Uh, Today was uh, a little challenging because it was just a tight schedule, but I think it really to. worked out for the best. Yeah. My feet can't take mm -hmm. any more hiking mm -hmm. at all, um, but it was uh, it was great walking around Machu Picchu. Yeah. And um, got to explore a little bit. Yeah, it was uh, it was very pretty and made the journey all worthwhile. I know I mentioned that in the last video. But, yeah. Totally. You know, it really was. Uh, a great experience. And now we sleep. Yeah, <laughs> now we sleep. If we we're supposed to do a tour tomorrow, we're like, mm, probably not. Nah, I don't even think my feet work anymore. Yeah, I don't think you can walk. I need new toes. Do you have anything to say? I mean, I'd like to do the tour, but 
<laughs> it was her idea to stay home and do nothing, by the way, just to be clear. Yeah, um, we, need, we need some downtime to relax, I think. Yeah, it's been crazy. Do you have anything to say for your wrap-up? It's been amazing. I can't believe we actually made it 24 hours in advance <laughs> before we yeah. came here. It's been awesome. It's good times. I look forward to the next one to the with next this one. young lady. Bye. And many more. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs>